Hi friends, it's Sasha and today we'll be reading Harriet's Halloween Candy by Nancy Carlson. Let's begin. Harriet really got a lot of candy on Halloween. When she got home, she laid it all out carefully on the floor. Then she organized it, first by color, then by size, and finally by favorites. Harriet's little brother Walter watched. He was too little to go trick-or-treating. Harriet, you be sure you share your candy with Walt, said Harriet's mother. No, said Harriet, it's all mine. But Harriet felt a little guilty. she said. She reached into her bag and pulled out a teensy-weensy piece of coconut candy. Harriet didn't like coconut anyway. Hee <laughs> hee! Yum yum! Before Harriet went to bed, she packed her candy in a big box. Then she hid the box in her closet. The next morning, she got up early to eat some of her candy. After she finished three caramel chocolate bars, she hid the rest behind her bookcase. Throughout the day, Harriet checked on her candy. She counted it. Then, she hid it in a new place every time. Pretty soon, Harriet was running out of places to hide it. There's only one thing to do, said Harriet. I'll have to eat it all up. So she started to eat. First, chocolate bars with peanuts. Then, licorice whips. Then peanut butter cups. Then red, blue, green, and orange gumdrops. Burp, she said when she got to the saltwater taffy. I don't feel so good. Maybe it's time to share. Wouldn't you like a sugar donut, Walt? How about some caramel apples? I'm so proud of you, Harriet, said Mother. Sharing is a sign of a grown-up dog. Oh, said Harriet, I was going to share all the time. That's good, Harriet, said Mother. Now go wash up for dinner. And that was Harriet's Halloween Candy by Nancy Carlson. Now it's sticker time, and today's sticker is genius. <coughs> Thanks for joining me today. I had so much fun. If you like this story, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Please visit me daily to reread this book and to read new books. You can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks!